Hello friends and welcome to your Friday Pick a Card, your Pick a Card bundle to give you some inspiration, some guidance and some hope for the future. I hope you are well, I hope you have managed to get through April in as, in as best shape as you possibly can. Today is the 1st of May, I can't believe it, I, This this it's, it's just crazy, I know we're in crazy times but I just seem to think that I, I feel as if time is just going faster and faster and I can't believe it's the 1st of May already. So, yes, we are in crazy, strange, and unusual times, and everything is changing. Nothing is staying the same, except your Friday picker cards. So, we're going to stick to the same format. We're going to stick to the same procedure. Everything stays the same, although there are additions. So, I don't know if you've seen or if you've noticed that I've now brought out a new video series, which is a once-a-month feature that gives you quite long, detailed messages per zodiac sign. So on Mondays, we have Terascopes, which are quick, less than 60 seconds per zodiac, but then I have introduced the longer monthly videos. So if you haven't seen those for May, if you haven't looked at yours for May, I will have in the description below, I will have the links for each of those videos so that you can go and have a look and see what May has in store for you. But for now, we're here for Friday. Fry, yay, pick a card. And... Um, Today I am using a couple of awesome decks. We're going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle deck. I am going to be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. And then I am using my I Am Power Affirmation cards. So there's quite a lot um, that I'm going to be using. And I'm sure we're going to get some awesome messages. So on screen. Here are your bundles. Here are your choices. Here are the options that are available to you. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in, hold it for a brief second and exhale it out. And as you exhale it out, let out all your stresses, let out all your worries, let out all your anxieties and your fears. And when you open your eyes and you look at the image on screen now, which of these bundles seems to be drawing you in? Which of these bundles seems to have the message that you need to hear right now? And let it be exactly the message that you need. So you know whether you're going to go for bundle one, bundle two, or bundle three. I don't know how to do my fingers to get bundle three. And um, yes, if you look in the description box below, you will have the timestamps that will take you straight to straight to your bundle, so you don't have to fast forward. Um, if you are watching on my blog, if you scroll down, you will see the other videos that are available to you. And with that, let's jump straight into it. So I shall see you at your bundle. And welcome, welcome to those of you who chose bundle one as the bundle that has the message you need to hear today. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you are well. I hope you are not too stressed and your anxiety levels are not too high with all the chaos in the world. Today I have got three different decks that I'm going to be using. We're using a tarot deck, an oracle deck, and I have my I Am Power affirmation cards. So we're going to start with the oracle today. So I am using the... Um, wisdom of the oracle oracle deck i have shuffled the cards i have uh, set the intention i have uh, cleansed and re-energized them so that hopefully there's no residue energy from any past readings from using this deck and let's see what we get if i could just learn how to shuffle <laughs> right so giving them a shuffle and we're asking that the card that we draw be absolutely perfect for every single one of you who have chosen this bundle let it be exactly the message that you need to hear a message of hope a message of guidance and a message of inspiration and of course motivation because i'm all about the motivation i'm all about the inspiration and the motivation okay i think i have shuffled enough let's take that one over there I'm all about the inspiration and the motivation. And what do I draw? Happy, happy. So, friends, for those of you who chose bundle one, it's all about finding your happiness. It's all about being happy. And you know what? I'm hearing the words, fake it until you make it. So even if you are stressed, even if you're not feeling very enthusiastic and very motivated with life, even if your anxiety levels are sitting about here, which is where about mine is sitting at the moment, just know that you deserve to be happy. You're allowed to be happy. And sometimes I actually, I, I had a, a session with a client this week. And one of the things I actually said to them is to take 15 minutes every day to laugh. And if you haven't got anything to laugh at, just laugh. You know, laughter therapy is so important. Laughter therapy, really, it does just put everything into perspective. And laughter is an outlet. You know, there's a lot of people who cry as 
outlet. But there's some people who can't cry. And laughter is just as an important an outlet as crying is and releasing and expressing and whatever. So those of you who chose bundle one, you've got happy, happy. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter how your anxiety is sitting. You have to have happiness. And sometimes we have to force that happiness because sometimes we are so clouded and our fears are so strong that we can't see the happiness. We can't feel the happiness. We don't allow the happiness in. So sometimes we have to be mindful of being happy, mindful of having happy thoughts, mindful of just looking at things. You know, when something spills and makes a mess, you can panic and stress about it or you can laugh about it and then clean it up. I'm the kind of person that laugh about it and then clean it up. So we need to. We need to express. We need to be happy. We need to make time and energy for happiness. So I'm going to leave that one on the table here in front of me. And I'm now going to pick up the awesome Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And we're going to shuffle and we're going to draw from this deck to get further information, further inspiration, further clarity on happy, happy. And how do we be happy? You know... With all the, the, the chaos that's going on in the world at the moment, with all the, the strife around us, it is difficult to be happy. I get it. I totally get it. You know, when you, you have all this uncertainty in your life and all this panic, like where, where is our next meal coming from? Where is our next bit of money coming from? How are we going to survive? How are we going to cope? How are we going to pay our staff? How are we going to pay our rent? How are we going to do all of these things? So I know finding happiness in these really dark times is so hard, but it is important. Okay. I have shuffled the cards enough. I want to just make sure that I hold them. I want to take that card over there and that card over there. So we're taking two cards from the tarot deck today. And the first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. And it's so, it's so, <laughs> I'm always so blown away at how these are, how they're just also relevant and how it all just matters. So the Nine of Pentacles is the card of opulence. It's the card of telling you that you have more than enough to get you through you have more than enough available to you right now to achieve everything that you want to and it's about being lavish and it's about being extravagant and it's about being opulent so so that's the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is telling you don't don't fear lack of money just know that you have enough to achieve everything that you need and it is followed by the seven of wands and the seven of wands is about being feeling as if you're backed into a corner feeling as if you're like right up on the edge can you see he's being he feels as if he's being attacked by all of these wands and they're coming towards him and he's backing away and he's now reached the absolute edge of the cliff and the only other place for him now is to fall off the back so he's feeling very attacked very trapped very isolated and very pushed into a corner but the reality is that there's no people attached to these it's all here. He thinks he's in this, this situation. He's making it worse than it actually is. So when we look at the two cards together, when we look at, at, at the, I forget now, the nine of pentacles and we look at the seven of wands, they're basically saying to you that you need to work with what you have. Um, if you don't have enough to pay everything you need to, well, then that's just the way it is. That's just what it is. We're not saying don't pay, but if you can't, you can't. And getting yourself worked up about it doesn't change the situation. It doesn't change your reality. And that's what this card is talking about. It's telling you, face your reality, recognize it for what it is. Don't make the monster worse than the monster actually is. Because it is important that we stay level-headed. It is important that we have moments of happiness. It is important that you take care of you first okay understand that financially everything will figure itself out one way or another as long as you are being honest as long as you are being open and as long as you are being valid and legit with yourself okay so that's a really interesting interesting message and it's probably one way i'm going to have people saying to me it's bad advice but actually it's not recognize the restrictions and the limitations that you have in your life right now recognize what you can do recognize what you can't do and be okay with that be happy with that be okay with that because that is your reality that is your foundation that is what you have around you and it's all you've got to work with until such time as our circumstances change this is your reality and it's okay it really is okay. I love this happy, happy card. I just, I want you to keep showing it to you. And I want you to keep looking at it. And I want you to keep recognizing that your happiness, your peace of mind is more important than anything else. Okay. So do whatever you have to, to keep happy, keep happiness within your home, 
within your family, within your immediate surroundings. And realize that not everybody is looking to attack you. Not everybody is backing you in a corner. Maybe you're doing that to yourself. There's nobody attached to these swords or these ones that are attacking you. There's nobody attached to them. So just make sure that you are not doing it and being your own worst enemy to yourself. Okay, so to finish off, I'm now going to take um, an affirmation card from the I am power affirmation cards. So these are just, it says I am and a word. Um, and it's sometimes I find these really helpful when I am feeling a bit overwhelmed, where I am feeling my anxiety levels a bit high, when I am feeling a bit stressed. I, I usually take one of these and it's normally a positive one. And I just keep repeating it to myself over and over and over again. And it normally just calms me down and gets me through the worst of whatever my situation is. So let's see what affirmation spirit wants you to have today and how it can help you to find your happiness and to stay happy. Taking that one over there. No words. I am intention. I love that. I think it's really appropriate. I think it's really important. You know, when, when we look at this card of feeling trapped, feeling backed into a corner, feeling that you need to set the intention, set the intention that you're not going to let anybody bully you. You're not going to be bullied. You're not going to be pushed. You're not going to be trapped. You're not going to feel worse or feel more than is absolutely necessary. Because remember, there is enough. And if it's not enough, well, shame. Okay? But there is enough. Remember, the most important thing is happiness. So set your intention to have happiness. I am intention. You know, and I think, you know, you, you hear people say that you wake up every day and you get to make the decision of whether this is going to be a good day or not. You can set the intention. You are the intention. I am intention. I create my own reality. I create the world that I have around me. And may you create an awesome one. May it be exactly what your heart and soul needs. And may it bring you a little bit of peace into your heart. So friends, those of you who chose bundle one, I do hope that, that was a good message for you. I do hope that that gives you the guidance, the hope and the inspiration, the motivation that you need to get through another week. Until we do this again next week, please remember if you did enjoy this video, if you got something positive from it, please show me some love with thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. So until we do this again next week, you take care. And hello and welcome to those of you who chose bundle two as the bundle that has the message you need to hear today. Welcome. I hope you are well. I hope you have survived the last week um, with all the chaos and the stress in the world. I hope you are. You have arrived at your fry yay unscathed and uh, fairly okay. I hope so. So friends, today I am using the wisdom of the Oracle Oracle deck and I am using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. And I am using my I Am Power affirmation cards. So I have already reset and shuffled the cards and set the intentions. But I like to do it when I've got you here. And I've got your intention just to make sure that we are putting all of your positive vibes into the cards. So send all your positive, unable to shuffle juju my way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't shuffle to save my life. Especially when the cards are so big. I battle to get my fingers around them. Okay. So let's shuffle and see what we're going to get. What is the message that all of you who chose bundle to, what is the message that you need? And let it be a message of hope, a little message of guidance, of inspiration and motivation. And let it give you all the inspiration that you need in your life right now. Okay, let's do this. Taking that one over there. So interesting here, yeah, the message we have says not for you. And in the middle of the, the picture, the middle of the card, we have a fortune cookie. So it's telling you the fortune cookie is not for you. And you know what? Immediately, I, I want to interpret this. I want to turn around and say that, you know, if, if we look at this card, so it is somebody holding a chessboard. And in the middle of the chessboard is a fortune cookie um, and the message that says not for you. So what isn't for you? Well, it's not your move. OK, um, it's not your time. It's not your move. We all have moments where we need to shine. We all have moments where we need to jump into action and achieve and perform and to do all the things. And it's telling you now it's not your time. The fortune cookie is not yours just yet. And neither is it your, make, your move to make 
on the chessboard. You need to be patient and you need to wait it out. You know, timing is everything. Timing is often um, what causes something to be successful or what causes something to fail. So right now, it's not for you. It's not your time to make the changes. It's not your time to implement. It's not your time to move. You have to wait. You have to be a little bit more patient. So that's very interesting. Really very interesting. And I want to use the tarot cards. Just picking them up. And I want to give them a shuffle to find out exactly what is it that you're not supposed to do. What is the move that you're not supposed to make? What is it that you're not supposed to react or respond to right now? So we are shuffling badly, but we are shuffling anyway. And let's see what the tarot has to say. Very interesting indeed. Okay. So we're going to take two cards. The first one we have is the chariot, and the chariot ties in so so lovely, so so wonderfully into this message of not for you, because the chariot says movement and change. The chariot is all about progress, and it's all about forward advancement, but the message of the chariot is not so much about the end destination, about where we're going to end up. It's about, it's about the journey that we take. So the chariot is telling you to stay focused on your journey. Stay focused on what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. Don't allow yourself to fall off the course or to get off or to deviate off the course it's telling you it's about staying focused and it's about staying keeping a steady progress and you will eventually reach your destination you will reach your goal so this message of not for you is it's really if i look at the chariot is telling you that the time for deviation from the path the time for changing your direction or for changing your actions or for changing the outcome is not now it's not that time it's not for you and attached to Attached to the second uh, tarot card we have is the star. And the star is the star of guidance, the star of hope. It's the star of inspiration. You can see what she's doing. She's replenishing energy. So she's not she's not on about the movement, okay? She's all about replenishing the energies and making sure that she has everything that she needs. She looks to the star for hope and for guidance. The star is telling her everything's going to be okay. Everything is on track. Everything's exactly what it needs to you don't need to be doing anything right now. This is telling you it's not for you. Take it time. Take the time to relax. Take it slow. Go back into it carefully. Go back into it slowly. Do not rush anything. All right. And, and especially when I look at these two together, we have got the chariot. And the chariot is the card of movement. It's the card of change. It's the card of progress. But it's more about the journey than the destination. And it's important that you just take the time to recharge and replenish your energies. And you know what? Looking at the state of the world, looking at everything that's going on at the moment, one thing that is so crystal clear in my mind um, is that when we are all allowed to return to work, when we are allowed to go back to normal, whatever normal is, when we go back to normal, there's going to be an urgency within each organization, with each company, within each person, with the schools, with everything to make up for lost time. There's going to be this urgency to rush, 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 rush. And what we would normally do in a, in a day, we're going to, well, well, let me rephrase that, what we would normally do in a week or a month, we're going to have to try and get fit into a day to make up for lost opportunities. And I think there's, there's we're all feeling the pressure of, I need to get busy, I need to get busy, I need to get busy, I need to get busy. But actually you, those of you who chose bundle two right now, not for you, okay? Slow down. Don't be so quick to jump in and get busy. Don't be so quick to navigate and to move forward. Take the time to replenish your energies, to recharge your battery. Your, your anxiety and your stress and your panic and your fear that you have within you at the moment has probably got your battery levels at about 50%. If you go back into the real world, if I can call it that, if you go back into the real world with your batteries at 50%, how are you going to be able to sustain that? For a long period of time you're not so take the advantage that you have around you at the moment to, to to keep your eye on what you're going to be achieving keep your eye on that distance on that goal on that outcome of that final destination whatever you want to call it but spend time replenishing your batteries spend time replenishing and figuring out you okay connecting with yourself because the message is not for you right now that fortune cookie its message that it has for you is a secret. It's not to be known. It's actually very interesting. I don't know if I'm going to get it on camera, but I'm going to try. There's a little piece of paper sticking out the fortune cookie. I don't know if it's, it's going to zoom in and focus on it, but it says, nope. 
N-O-P-E. Nope, not for you. <laughs> you get the next one. Let this one go. Let this one go on to somebody else. You get the next fortune cookie. You don't get to get that one. All right, so friends, that's a really interesting message for you. And I, and I think it's relevant, and I think it's probably valid for most of you. Just slow down, catch your breath. Focus on the you. Don't focus on out there. Focus on internal. Don't focus on external. It's not time yet. I'm now going to take a card from the I Am Power Affirmation cards. And I like these affirmation cards because when I do feel panicked, when I do feel fearful, when my anxiety, when my stress levels, when everything, I like to shuffle and draw one because it, the cards say I am and then there's a word. And the word is often a positive word. Um, and if I just keep repeating that to myself over and over and over again, I find it does help and give me the inspiration that I need to deal with whatever the challenges that I'm facing at the time. Okay, so I shuffled enough. They're quite difficult to, to hold, so let's do that, taking that one over there. I am progress. So I love that. I love that. It, it really makes sense, and it, it fits in so nicely with everything that we've said already. So it's telling you not for you. So you're going to think, well, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I, I need to be I need to be busy. If you keep reminding yourself that you are progressing, and where's my, where's my star? Remember, your star is about replenishing your energies and, and putting in more than you are taking out and making sure that your, that your reserves are full. And know that that in itself is progress. So keep reminding yourself, keep saying to yourself, I am progress. I am progress. I am progressing. I am progressing. You can add that if you want to. Add the ing to the end of the sentence. But know that you have not stalemated. You have not stagnated. You have not stopped. You are progressing. But it's not your time now to move. It's not your time now to move. It's your time now to replenish your energies so that you can be even better. I am progress. So friends, if that message brought you a little bit of guidance, hope, and inspiration, please be so kind as to leave me a thumbs up. Show me some love. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And until we do this again next week, you take care. And welcome to those of you who chose bundle three as the bundle that has the message you need to hear today. Welcome. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you have arrived at Friday unscathed. You've arrived happy, healthy, strong, and um, ready for a message, an awesome message. So today, my friends, I am starting off with wisdom of the oracle cards and i will then move on to the tarot so we're going to get straight into it so i have reset the cards i have shuffled i have set the intentions but i like to just do it again when i've got your attention so you can send all your positive juju to the cards to make sure that you get exactly the message that you need may the card that we draw now be the card of inspiration the card of hope the card of guidance and everything that you need in your life right here and right now okie dokie shuffled enough Let's draw that one. I love this card. Just look at the image. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? So you've got card number four, which is higher power, which is reminding you that there is a higher power looking after you, that there is a higher power taking care of you and helping you through the, the, the challenges of life at the moment. So you're not alone. You know, and often I know we do think that. We often do think that we've got no support, we've got no backup. There's nobody who's got our back. But this is telling you that you are not alone, that there is a higher power who is in control, who, who knows exactly what's going on in the world, and we need to trust. We need to believe. We need to allow. I think that's the big thing. So that is what I'm hearing with this card, Higher Power. It's that you need the reminder that you are not alone, that there is something bigger taking place, and we have to trust and we have to believe in it. This higher power is going to look after you, and this higher power is looking after each one of us. And there is a plan of action. And you know what? Sometimes we all get into this, this state of panic. We all start worrying and we're getting fearful and like, how do I handle this? How do I handle that? What do I do here? What do I do there? And we feel like we've got nobody to turn to because a lot of people are looking to us for guidance, help, and support. So maybe you do need to just look to your higher power whoever your higher power may be just look to your higher power and ask for help and guidance so now we're going to look at 
tarot. And um, I am using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck today. And uh, let's see what else Higher Power wants us to know. What is the other message that we get from Higher Power for all of you today, for all of you who chose Bundle 3? So let's have a look. Let me shuffle. And again, these have been reset. These have been already reshuffled. But let's just do it now while I've got you on screen to make sure that we get exactly the right message that we need. So we're going to take two. So I'm taking that one there. I love this. You know, I, I think I've said it for, for bundle one and for bundle two, and now I'm saying it for bundle three. I love how all these cards just sort of tie in, how the message just all is completely in tune and in line with each other. So we started off with a reminder that there is a higher power, with a reminder that we can lean on, use and turn to this higher power in our moments of need. And the very first tarot card we draw is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords, he is the higher power. He is the one who's in control. He is, I always feel terrible saying this, but he's quite emotionless. He doesn't make his decisions based on emotion. He eliminates emotion. He makes his decisions based on facts, based on logistics, based on, you know, all of that kind of thing, the needs of the people. But he doesn't do it from a place of emotion, okay? Um, and and the king, he, he's all about control and dominance. He's not going to take from anybody, okay? He's not afraid to throw his weight around. He's not afraid to be the bully if being the bully is going to achieve the outcomes that we need. So, and he is also the one that everybody turns to. He is the higher power. He is the one who who helps people through difficult times. He's the one that you can go to, that you can rely on, who's got your back. And he's not going to, like I said, he's not going to do it from an emotional point of view. He's going to do it from a physical, practical, logical point of view. And that's obviously exactly what you need right now. The second card that we had in the tarot is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is about celebration, about coming together to acknowledge and to celebrate and to enjoy a, a happy time. So it's often a card of weddings, of family gatherings, of coming together. But we can't do that right now. We're in lockdown. But again, I'm going to bring the higher power card into it and say to you that maybe you need to be coming together and celebrating with your higher power, with your, need to do that, with your king of swords, okay? It's time that we celebrate and acknowledge that we are not alone, that we have the support system that we need. You know, whether it is your government, whether it is your employer, whether it is your family, whether it is your partner, whether it is your children, who is it that is giving you the support that you need right now? And allow the higher power into your space. Allow somebody from higher up to offer you the help and to take the help that they are offering. Don't feel like you have to do everything on your own, but celebrate and acknowledge the help, the guidance and the community and the support and the system that you have available to you right now, because it really is so, so, so important. You know, we, we get into this habit where we are feeling like we have to do everything on our own. We don't feel like we can turn to other people. And you know what? If you just celebrate and acknowledge the people that you have in your life, the people that are there that want to be with you, you'll be amazed at, at the support system that's available. And reach out. Reach out. Don't feel like you have to do this on your own. Don't be the king of swords all the time. Yes, you probably are that person to so many other people. But even the king of swords needs somebody on his corner. And you've got me. Can I just say that? I am here for you, and you've got your higher power. Isn't that beautiful? That card is just absolutely exquisite. All right, so we're not finished. I'm going to leave these cards here in front of me so that I can see them. But now what I want to do is I want to take my I am power affirmation cards, and I want to draw us some affirmation and just to see how it uh, fits into the whole thing. So affirmation cards, these ones in particular, they have the words I am, and then they have a, a, a word. Um, and basically, it's it's an affirmation that you can repeat to yourself to attract or to bring in that energy into your space. So I like to use this when I'm feeling fearful, when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm feeling stressed, when I'm feeling a little bit, uh, you know, worried or whatever about anything. Then I pick an affirmation card and all you do is repeat it to yourself 
every time you find your, your, your stress levels rising, just repeat the affirmation over and over and over again. Affirmations generally only have positive words. They don't have any negative words. So they won't say, I am not, because that's a negative. It'll only have positives. And if you keep repeating them to yourself, it's almost like you program your subconscious. And that's what we really want to be doing. So we, so far, the message has been, you're not alone. You need to reach out and to get, allow other people to help you and um, to let other people guide you on your journey. So let's see what affirmation we get and how it relates to that. <laughs> I love it. They tie in so beautifully. I am resourceful. And you are resourceful. That's why you are the queen of, uh, the queen, the king of swords to so many people, because you are resourceful. You know exactly how to get things done. You know exactly what needs to be done, when, how, how often, etc. You are, and that's why so many people lean on you but it's important that you realize that you need to come together with your people you need to celebrate you need to acknowledge acknowledge how resourceful you are but acknowledge how you have this higher power this you have access to the higher power to help you so let your higher power be a resource that you use in your life right now i am resourceful Just repeat after me say with me i am resourceful i am resourceful i am I am resourceful. I am resourceful. Does it feel good? It'll make you feel all powerful. I hope so. Because you are resourceful. And you can perform miracles. You can achieve almost anything that you set your mind to. There's nothing stopping you. Especially if you've got the higher power on your side. And you do. And you do. So, be the king of swords. Be in control. Be strong. Be courageous. Be brave without allowing emotions to impact on your decisions and in all that you do celebrate with your family celebrate with your friends and acknowledge your achievements and let people celebrate with you don't keep it to yourself so friends that is your friday message and i do hope it was a good one for you please if you did enjoy that if there was some kind of motivation hope and inspiration for you please give me a like give me a thumbs up show me some love and if you haven't already done please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss any more of my videos with love and blessings from my heart until yours until we do this again next week you take care